for as much as the centrists want to say that people like me, people like you probably, if you're listening to this podcast, yeah. you guys are wasting your time Time's advocating sky. advocating for policies that don't have a chance to happen and you're putting all your money into this, you know, this policy work to flesh it out when this shit is not going to happen. Why are you doing that? Why do you come on here and waste all this time to try to make this popular and so on? Uh, Joe Manchin's not going to vote for this shit and so on and so forth, right? Yeah, I get this shit all the time, of course, because of who I am and what I advocate right like ppp basically just burning money people give you money and you produce these policies oh they're very slick okay yes you you know you you've dotted all the i's crossed all the t's for what yeah waste of time you need to be trying to maximize the design of the next tax credit that is the effective altruist if you really cared about poor people bob greenstein stuff not talking about how we should have national health insurance with no cost sharing when you know that's not going to happen. Not talking about how we need to, you know, nationalize as much equity as we can and pay out a universal income to people when you know that's not going to happen. Yeah. Not to, on and on. Free child care. Dude, you'll be lucky to get some child care for poor families. And that's right. what you should be focusing on. Focus on expanding Head Start. Don't focus on creating a new public uh, child care system that completely replaces Head Start, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All these people think they know the future. Right. And this is what I've tried to do when I've been on podcasts with these people yeah. and tried to argue with them and say, you have no idea what's going to happen in the future. You have no idea. Neither of us know. Whether it's Trump winning an election, whether it's a pandemic in this case, whether it's a war, whether you have no idea no what's going to happen. All sorts of random shit happens all the time. Things get shaken up and it, and we'll at least, not just in a kind of moral sense, spend our time arguing for the shit that's actually good instead of your shit, which you basically implicitly acknowledge is not good, but just think, well, practically, blah, blah, blah. Not only will I spend my time morally arguing for that because it's the right thing to do, but there will be a time, possibly, where we can actually put this together, right? And I can't tell you exactly how that's going to be, but it could be, and we'll at least be ready. Yeah, because think about this, and I don't know if if we'll get national health insurance out of this or not. It seems to me like it's at least plausible that that could happen. Yeah, right. Not completely out of the realm of imagination that after an enormous, just insane, just culling due to healthcare system being so fucked up that people might say, "Yeah, you know what? I think people, everyone should have a." public insurance not tied to your employer by the way when 20 percent of people were go suddenly out, go not, out yeah. of their job how yeah. much time do we spend talking about oh what's great about this is uh, 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 uh medicare for all who want it if you like your uh, employer plan you can keep it uh, good luck with that yeah. fucking 20 percent of people are one day the fucking governor might say your employer's gone now <laughs> <laughs> oh and then what happens yeah. and if we do get that it will be because of the work we've done up to this point on Medicare for All. It'll be, right. be because if there wasn't a movement, if we hadn't just posted, even though Bernie is not doing well in the primaries at this point, if we hadn't posted literally basically every state that had an exit poll showing Democrats by two to one margins support Medicare for All, even as they go out and vote for Sleepy Joe for some reason, if we hadn't spent the time doing that, hadn't spent the time constructing this, it would not be a possibility at all. It wouldn't even be on the horizon. It wouldn't even be a thing you could think of. Right. But now you can. Now you can look and be like, shit, man, what? Medicare for all. Medicare, obviously, Medicare for all. Yeah. And I, you know, just take some solace in, in, uh, in, in acknowledging that this may or may not happen, but at least we're ready to possibly make it happen. Whereas the people who just a few months ago were saying anybody who's not spending their time on, on making a slightly better tax credit is basically yeah. just masturbating, they're fucking wrong. We don't um, here on the Brewcast want to see, and I want to make this clear because I don't want to panic you. We don't want to see the worst outcomes, and I'm not no, saying that's not. going to happen. I'm saying that 
But that's just the trajectory we're on right now. Right now. If we don't do anything, it's plausible that the bad things that we're predicting could happen. Um, But I think that they can all be avoided. And I think we can still pull pull back um, and and steer this in a way that, um, you know, gives us some leeway and gives us um, some room to to come together and get good outcomes. If you want recommendations from the Brewcast on how to think about this, here's my advice. Mm -hmm. Be optimistic, be a happy soldier, which means every day, get up and think, what can I do to protect people who are high risk and to not pose a threat to them? Right now, that's staying indoors, working from home, uh, not going to crowded places. Um, It means um, uh, keeping track of your health. Don't go to the doctor if you have something you can take care of at home. Uh, and, um, at at the same time, keep an eye on what the needs are in your community. Right now there's a critical blood product shortage, right? Because they can't hold blood drives because you can't get all those people in one place at a time. So, uh, all over the country, uh, places that perform surgery, transplants, care for people with cancer, et cetera, they need blood products. Look up on the Red Cross website if there are blood drives near you where you can schedule an appointment and go in one at a time to give blood, especially if you have a rare blood type. Uh, Make sure that your neighbors who are high risk know that you are there to help them if they need food or medicine. Uh, And uh, be public minded and pay attention. Try not to despair and put pressure on your elected representatives to make this right and take care of us because that is their job and we can get through this together and we will be stronger together fight for someone you don't know right and look forward to a world in which that way of life is understood to be possible i want to leave you with a meme because i thought it was funny have you ever seen this before i know it's weird to do a sight gag on a podcast Mm -hmm. Um, Uh, yeah there's been uh, like a hundred variations yeah but you've got the two wojack guys and one guy's like no no you can't artificially inflate the economy by creating money to fight an economic downturn this is like the the anti-mmt guy he's wearing an and cap right right thing and then you've got an mmt guy over here or whatever who just goes i I disagree with that but who goes haha money printer go burr yeah (laughs) But the point is, there are all of these orthodoxies about what can and can't happen. And then it's as simple as like one guy being like, ha ha, yeah, it can. Money printer go brrr. There's even a COVID version with a cell saying, no, you can't hijack my cell membrane and force me to make copies of you. And the the coronavirus saying, ha ha, protein printer go brrr. (laughs) Um, It was one of the, 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 my favorite one was the Trump one where... Like uh, it was a Democrat uh, guy who was like, you can't just give everyone money uh, without means testing it and targeting it and yeah. so on. And then you have Trump's face. Yeah. And he goes, ha ha, money printer go burr. Um, so here we are, right? Uh, you can't control uh, production. You just have to let the market do it with incentives. You can't just distribute money and benefits to people. You have to think about tiny incremental advances to already existing programs to keep the industries happy. And you can't get Americans to be public-minded and cooperative. Ha ha, COVID go brrrr.